always watch movies. And uh, I don't know. I uh, just wanted to make them instead of just watching them. Be more of a creative outlet than just being a critic. But as far as like where I get my ideas, it's everywhere. It's everything I do. Uh, a book I read, a movie I watch, uh, the stories that people tell around, I don't know, like a bar or whatever. It's it's everything. It, it you know where you get your inspiration from is in everything. It makes a great film. It's tough. It's uh, it's the characters. It, it's it's how they act with each other. It, it's the chemistry. It's it, it's the conversations that you know you'll follow like in it everyday day to day thing. Um, it with a little bit of creative uh, um, you know, spark to it. It's it's a feeling. That uh, you know, shit's just not on the level. That's that's beautiful. Loves are great. It's uh, has a nice gritty feeling to it. Uh, when people watch it, they automatically kind of are, are disconnected a little bit. At the same time, like you've seen a ton of it without even realizing. But as soon as they see it, it's just like that home movie kind of feel to it. And uh, that, that automatically like puts them in a different frame of mind. I, I shoot a lot of stuff on black and white, like Descent into Madness, uh, Pipe. Those are both shot on black and white Super 8. And just the grain in there it is like a whole new character. Well, a beautiful little character to add to the people that are on screen. Set in the Madness. Um, I shot that with uh, Britton Lavelle and whatever your crab tree. Uh, and uh, I had like six reels sitting around in my fridge. And uh, Britton and I were sitting downtown in my office. And we're like, let's, let's shoot something. And so we ran up to the thrift store and I found this wedding dress because I saw uh, one of those mornings I saw a guy running around in a, a wedding dress. So I picked the wedding dress up for fucking 20 bucks. And uh, I threw it on uh, Britain, and, uh, and you know, I filmed him uh, running around in a river downtown. I got up in a balcony downtown here, and so nobody could see me. All they saw was this, this crazy uh, kid with a bunch of ink on him in a wedding dress <laughs> acting a fool. And, you know, I got a bunch of those scenes shot, and uh, I didn't have much of anything to speak of a story. So once I got that back, I'm like, I, I sat there and, and smoked and kind of came up with the rest of the story. And I was seeing Guinevere at the time, and I was just like, I, I need you to, uh, you know, play this other part, uh, the girlfriend type. So once I got, like, all the footage back, or, like, I cut it all together, and then Britton and I and Guinevere sat down in front of uh, the computer and did all the voiceover, and then that's where the... Um, uh, the story really started to congeal uh, with the voiceover work. And it was Britton and I just sitting there kind of going over what needed to be said, filling in all the gaps that, that wasn't there from uh, the footage that we took. Well, how considerate. I've been cordially invited to my own fucking funeral. It spurred more ideas than it ever, uh, than it ever answered for me. Which is fun. I like that. And that's, I see every movie going that direction. It raises more questions than it answers. <clears throat> yeah, and that's where Descent is. And it played at that Spark Film Festival, and now it's, I'm trying to raise money right now uh, through a bunch of people here in town. I have a free showing and uh, raise money and try to get it out to uh, a few of the Flickr festivals and a few other places. When it comes down to it, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there is any perfect film. 
there are perfect moments, but there is no perfect film, I don't think. And that's what's so great about it. That's what I, that's what I like about it.